Hello world, here's PT, your Bitcoin trading informant and welcome to the daily 5 minute tour update. Today I will show you where is the problem now, why can't we go higher for the moment, I promise I will do this. So guys, let's start the party with this analyze, let's go guys. And here we are, we are starting with coin market cap. What's going on with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is already on 40 54,000, the same thing like yesterday. We are in the plus a little bit, 0.6% on 24 hours, but on seven days we are in a nice plus on 14%, really, really nice. Watch Ethereum, Ethereum is going on to the upside a little bit, 0.7% and 11% in the plus in the week. And Edo Cardano is going down, what's going on? 1.6% and in the week, 1.38%. But the most coins are going up a little bit. In 24 hours, the biggest winner is Harmony 1, 34% in the plus, nice. Phantom, place number 2, 19% in the plus and Shiba Inu is going up. Place number 3 today with 16%. Look at the 7 days, it's amazing guys. 269% Shiba Inu is going up. Uh, I have some Shiba, okay, I'm holding some Shiba for fun, just for fun, but I'm in a nice plus with Shiba and I hope that there will come not only a meme coin with Shiba, I hope there will be some really, really good reason to buy Shiba and not only for fun. Okay, guys, let's check the next thing. What is going on here on CoinMarketCap? Let me show you, um, sorry, where it is, here, ah, here it is. Uh, the dominance, the dominance for Bitcoin is growing with 44%. And um, no, sorry, what's going on here? Okay, no, guys, sorry. 24 hours, the biggest looter, 4.4% Revain. The second place, Binance Coin, 4%, 3.8%. And you can see, guys, we have only a few coins that are going down and a lot of coins that are going up, so it's not so important. But guys, look at the seven days. Look at Shiba in the seven days, 270%. Place number one, Phantom is also growing 61.4%. And Harmony One is growing with... 44.7%. So really, really nice. And what is the biggest loser? And it's not so extreme, guys. Avalanche is going down 10%, eCash 9.3%. And you can see the most coins are going down, uh, going up, yes, but some coins are going down and this is not so a big problem. Here now, the Bitcoin dominance 44.3% and Ethereum is going up. Uh, the dominance for Ethereum is 18.5%. Uh, so here is trading view on the daily. On the daily we should buy, on the 4 hour we should buy, on the 2 hour we should buy and on the 1 hour we are neutral. Okay, we are going down a little bit now, uh, taking deep breaths for the next big move, but okay, on the 1 hour we are neutral, all the moving averages are telling us buy, but everything is telling us we should buy. So guys, here is the daily. The daily time frame, every candle is one day and you saw here or you see here the big downtrend, a little uptrend, we broke this downtrend, nice. And now we have some problems. The first thing is we have the bearish harami here. This was yesterday. The candle closed yesterday as a bearish harami. And this is for the most times a bad sign. For the most times, not always. You can see it on the downside. We also saw here a bearish um, harami. But we saw there a big pump to the upside. It's not always working. But for the most times it's working. And so guys, if you see this bearish harami, uh, attention, attention. We need to watch this, guys. So um, here was the bearish engulfing. The bearish engulfing told us, okay, we are going down. Now we have a bearish Arami and it's possible to go down again. Um, okay, guys, let me show you the next thing. Here's the RSI on the downside. And we broke the RSI. We broke the support. It was a resistance. Now it is a support. We broke the resistance to the upside. Now we are here over this point. So we don't need to watch the RSI on the, on the, on the downside. It was a bearish divergence. It is still is a bearish divergence, but we broke it to the upside. So for the moment, it's not so important to watch the RSI. Let's remove it. Um, but now, guys, let me show you. Let me show you something. I will remove now everything. I will remove the candles, um, candlestick pattern. I will remove the drawings here. So start with a fresh um, uh, chart picture here. And now I promised you, I will show you why we have some problems here. A parallel channel here. From the lowest point over this point here to the upside from this here lowest point to the upside to the highest point so guys if you're watching this you can see where is the big problem now the big problem is the middle line of our parallel channel you can see this blue line here and we are fighting with this line since three days and we can't see a confirmed closing candle for the moment over this middle line so this is very important now guys this is really important. We are for the moment fighting with this blue middle line. And this is the 
reason why we can't see more pump for the moment because we have here a really, really big resistance. The resistance is about 55,500, uh, 600, depends always um, where we will hit this line or where we will draw this channel. But you can see this is now a big thing. And guys, watch this. For the moment, we have a big wick to the upside. A big wick to the upside is for the most times a really bad sign. I told you this since long times. Watch on the big wicks to the downside. We are bullish. This is a bullish sign. Watch the big wicks to the upside. It's for the most times a bearish sign, guys. Please remember, please keep this in your mind, guys. So this was the big thing with the middle line. This was the big thing with this um, uh, candle we are buying for the moment. We have six hours to close these candles. Okay, that's uh, some time, but we need to close this candle in the, in the near of the middle line and not so much under the middle line. So let me show you the next thing, guys. This was the last lowest low. Okay, guys, please don't give me a thumbs up. I don't speak about um, this price, 39,500. I don't tell you we are going down to 39,500. But this was uh, the last low, the last big low, <laughs> the last lowest low, guys. And we need to stay over this support. This is so important. We need to stay over this green line. We need to stay over 39,500. This is very important. So uh, let's check the next thing. And what's going on with this orange line, BT? Let this orange line be an orange line, okay? It is at 20,000. I have a reason why it is at 20,000. It is a big, 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 big thing for me. I think it's it's possible to see 20,000 again, guys. Please don't give me a thumb to the downside for this. But it's really possible to see this again. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe in the near future. So let me use this orange line as a big support. So now we are in the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, we are over the ribbon band, we are over the EMA 200, and you can see here we had the long position. EMA 200 is a price about 46,500, okay? And this thing is now our problem, the middle line, and the fight with 55,500. And you can see it. We had here two spikes to the upside, two spikes, two tries here to fight the middle line, but we can't fight the middle line for the moment. And now we are going down again a little bit. So, guys, now, this is really important. This green line is a support line. We are buying higher lows for the moment on the 4-hour time frame. But guys, if we will buy it here on this point, a lower low, it's possible to go down really quick. So remember this, guys. I think a lot of guys are waiting for, uh, for taking profit here. And I think they are waiting for the moment for lower lows. Um, that's the big, big thing I'm watching, guys. I'm still in the trade. I'm watching this line and we need to stay over this line. I'm watching this in the next hours. If we will lose this line here for a support, we may have big, big problems, guys. So, okay. Um, let me check the next thing, guys. Uh, last but not least, the video for today is too long. Eight minutes. Sorry about this, guys. But this is so important with this blue line. I must tell you this on my daily update. Um, the next thing, guys, 47,000 EMA 200. I told you, 39,000 here, this lowest point. We don't speak about this, okay? Um, now, let me check the next thing. Uh, let me check. Um, uh, sorry, moment, just a moment. Yes, the Fibonacci retracement. This is one of the important things also for the moment. Fibonacci retracement, highest point, 64,000, lowest point, 28,000. And you can see, we are fighting with these Fibonacci lines. Bitcoin is uh, acting on this uh, so much. You can see it. Here we saw a reaction. Here we saw a re reaction. Perfect hit. Perfect hit. Here the fight. Here the fight. Here the fight. Retest the perfect hit. So the Fibonacci retracement is so, so, so important. And you can see it now. Um, we are here. We saw a big fight here. And now, guys, the next Fibonacci line is 0 0.786. This is at 57,150.60 about this. This is the next Fibonacci line, or 57,000, or 57,200, it doesn't matter. This is the next big thing. If we can clamp over the middle line, this would be awesome. We need to confirm closing candle over the middle line. If we see this, the next big thing is this big resistance, this Fibonacci line at 57,200, guys. And if we can clamp over this, if we can, if we can make a confirmed closing candle over this, it's possible to see a new all-time high. Guys, this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, very important, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. Thank you very much to my supporters, Ryan, in real life. Thank you so much. You're supporting me so nice. Um, uh, Troll, you are supporting me. Thank you. Crypto Sharknado, thanks for your support. And Angry Higgins, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here always in my live stream. I'm streaming live 24 hours, seven days a week. Thank you for all your help you can give me here and the community here in my live stream.
Guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice time. Greetings. Your Speedy. Your Bitcoin Trading Informant. Bye, guys.